Hey folks, and welcome to the final part of Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. Right now we're going to the Chair Castle, and if you're watching this for the first time, what the heck are you doing? There are eight other parts to go see. Now, the last time uh, we were in the playthrough parts, I know I'm saying that probably wrong, but last part, we basically got our butt kicked by King Piccolo, and he wished himself to be younger. And, not only that, but after getting our butt kit, we just started to drink the mystical water, even though it can probably have the possibility of killing us. But, as a result, we gotten stronger from it. Now we're ready to take true vengeance against King Piccolo for what he done to our friends. So, we're on a mission of vengeance, still. You know, we managed to pretty much, um, destroy the first, uh, demon of his, and now we're going ahead and taking on the second one of his. And this fat bastard here is no problem at all. Uh, all you have to do is pretty much just get out of his way when he decides to attack. But me, being the impatient guy I am, you know, decided to, you know, just go ahead and take vengeance anyway. Um, I do have the fan on as the hot, um, the hot. Uh, Chronicles continues <laughs> that's what I'm calling it because the last couple of parts I've been complaining about how hot it is in my room and I have the fan on so you know hopefully that shouldn't deter from the volume the listening volume so if you folks do hear a little you know a little in the background that's my fan uh, let you guys know heads up so um, if you do you know those brief moments of silence I have and you hear that, I'm just letting you know that that's my fan going on because I couldn't take the heat anymore. This room is just too damn hot. <laughs> it really is, but basically, um, this is the last stage, folks. Um, once we beat this level right here, we're going to have our final, our, our last and final confrontation with King Piccolo in this game anyway. So yeah, we're doing the final frontier with this game when it comes to King Piccolo, so... Yeah, he has his little demons and whatnot, these things right here that um, actually blocks your attacks. Uh, I believe that's the first enemy in this game to actually do so. So, imagine my surprise when I found out that this enemy can pretty much block attacks. And these enemies right here, uh, they're no problem to take down at all. But yeah, basically, this stage right here is the cream of the crop, the toughest enemies. You know, the most annoying enemies, these bird pterodactyl piece of shit things ah get the fuck out of here but uh yeah folks this is it folks the last of the last the draw the draw uh as i stated in the last part if you know what you're doing you can get through this game pretty quickly so you know it's the last hoo-ha of the game before it's finished so yeah, we come a long way, folks, and I hope you folks have been enjoying this playthrough. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Join the awesome family, but you can be awesome as well. And, what the hell? <laughs> okay, just click through the all then. It makes it easier for me. And even if you, you know, you don't subscribe, you're still awesome. You're an honorary, uh, honorary awesome member for at least taking your time and to view a nerd to uh you know rant about a game that he enjoys you know that, that that's my slogan folks i'm probably gonna be saying that in every playthrough i do just a nerd um ranting about a game he likes or playing a game he likes and i really do enjoy this game folks um i'm i'm i'm, I'm a little bit excited because you, you you finally get to hear what I have to say about this game even though you probably pretty much got all uh, synopsis of you know you pretty much already know an idea or you probably have a, a, a clue about what I'm gonna say about this game but I do hope you guys stick around to the end folks it's it's gonna be probably worth it you know but yeah first of all how are you folks doing I think I asked that already but just in case yeah how are you folks doing you know, I ask that every single time, every single playthrough. It's kind of my slogan. I care about you folks, so I want to see how you're doing. Um, let me know in the comments, you know, you're having a shitty day. If you are having a shitty day, um, I do want to, you know, apologize. Well, I I'm, I'm want to say, you know, sorry for you having a shitty day. I'm hoping I'm brightening your day up just a little, a little tad bit, just a little bit. And if I am brightening your day up, you know, that's just uh, all the more better for the both of us, you know. Uh, I try to at least, 
you know, bring a smile to somebody's face. Even though I'm not really a comedian kind of guy, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm more of a, a critical thinker, if I want to put it that way. I mean, I better be a damn critical thinker. I went through college with Peak State, graduated too. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, you have a variation of the um, other enemies that we face. They're kind of a light green color. Look almost bluish, actually. Um, but yeah. But anyway, King Piccolo's stage is kind of long. It's at least a seven, eight minute um, fiasco fest. Um, I was kind of expecting that because this isn't my first uh, go at this stage. Um, it's like my eighth try, folks, because uh, the battle with King Piccolo. I'll, I'll get into that when we actually get to him. But that that fight. Uh, just ah, uh, that's all I gotta say, folks. Um, right now, um, it's a little excitement going on, especially for me a little bit because at the time of this recording, uh, it is WrestleMania time, folks. So you folks got a kind of feel through of the data I recorded this around. So you know that's in the air. Um, I told you folks before, I'm a little bit of a wrestling fan. You know, I like watching uh, wrestling from time to time. I'm not as big as I used to be um, when I was little because by the time when I was uh, little, the Attitude Era, the Attitude Era was around. So um, they had the greats such as uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, uh, Kane, Undertaker. Uh, damn, who else they had? Mankind, uh, Eddie Guerrero, rest in peace. Um, and and bunch of oh, a bunch of others, yeah, they had a bunch of others. Um, the time I really stopped watching wrestling was around the time that um, that John Cena got introduced. Um, I kind of just lost interest then. I mean, don't get me wrong, the guy he can wrestle, but you know he's kind of being overpaid, uh, overplayed too much lately. Um, you know, but he, he he stands for justice within the um, you know WWE community. It'd be kind of cool if he was to turn key, uh, meaning that he turns into like a bad guy or something like that. That'd be pretty cool um, because every time they play his theme song, which the guy haven't changed in like ten years or so, um, the crowd mocks him. And speaking of the WWE universe, oh, they are obnoxious, folks. That's why I barely watch it now because it's just their chance they're and if i do offend you for saying this sorry it's just i have my opinions and i'm gonna state it their chants are obnoxious they, they really are it's just annoying just get over it folks that's all i gotta say anyway this is a dragon ball z game and not a wwe game oh, i like it better when it's called wwf but I think that name stands for something else now. I think it's wildlife, world wildlife, something. It's got something to do with wild wildlife. But, yeah, WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment, instead of World Wrestling Federation. I don't know. I like I like WWF better. But, you know, winners, winners can't be choosers. But, anyway, yeah, these going through so many gauntlets here, folks, and so many enemies, and you don't have a choice. And, like I stated before, these guys like to block, but there's a, a way around blocking. Like I stated in every fighting game, you got your rock, paper, scissors mechanic. And if you got an opponent, a opponent that's blocking all the time, you can throw them. You know, they they can't they can't block a throw, folks. Unless it's some game that that kind of uh t like a tech hit or something like that. Tech. I said tech hit, not tech kid. Yeah, it, it sounded like I said Tekken, but I said tech hit. Yeah, tech hit. Speaking of tech hit. Uh, tech hits it reminded me of um, tech decks. You guys remember tech decks? Uh, it was a big thing when I was in middle school, uh, having the tech deck and the skaters and stuff. They used to, <laughs> they used to show tech decks all over the place. But anyway, um, driving away from tech decks, uh, we're having our rematch with Piccolo here, folks. This is, look how much health this bastard has, folks. This guy got health on health on health. They could have at least gave us a slight uh, health increase too, folks. That's just not fucking fair. All that health, that means I has to, 
that mean I have to has I has to I has to now that mean I have to constantly attack this guy as much as I can with stating very minimum damage and so far that's not working <laughs> this guy is trying to destroy me which um which brings up a point that I'm gonna make um let me adjust my mic here folks because it's always I'm always having trouble with this mic so if I get slightly louder I do want to apologize for um that it's just my microphone is very annoying I gotta look into getting another one but anyway um yeah take that you bastard full command man to the face but anyway um damn it what was I talking about I completely forgot what I was talking about that quick well that doesn't matter I think I was talking about uh the disadvantage that I have right now fighting against Piccolo they should have gave Goku more health than what he has just to make the fight a little bit more fair but I am dishing out these Kamehameha blasts and they getting his health slightly closer to mine so you know as once as once his health is close to mine then it's play ball because I'm already doing pursue attacks and I'm breaking his guard and stuff so you know that that works for me folks and his health is getting closer to mine so that works for me and I'm gonna go ahead and release Kamehameha Ray go ahead and take that you bet I couldn't get a full power because he was too freaking close and I didn't want to risk you know losing that uh, advantage the slight advantage that I have over Piccolo right now even though he's pretty much uh, damn it bringing it to me I'm surprised he hasn't been releasing as um, as much blast as he should have been and I'm, I'm just being careless right now damn it get it together get it together but um yeah he's not um he, yeah he was being really nice because um like I stated before it took me multiple multiple tries to beat this bastard right here it really did folks it took it it got so bad to the point where I just said you know fuck it I'll try again tomorrow fuck it I'll try again the next day the next day the next day it's just frustrating folks I spent hours recording and to try to beat this dude and I finally got a successful one and I just stuck with it and I was just like yes finally beat him finally beat you bastard I, my heart was pounding during this part I actually remember that because you know I didn't want to mess it up and then when I actually got the KO on him I was like yes but anyway Piccolo is defeated King Piccolo is defeated anyway so yeah that's the end of um Piccolo here uh, the original if you want to call him that but yeah um the part here is his um Azaru fist if you want to call it that but yeah it goes right through him and I'm surprised they were showing this in this game right here uh, considering it's E10 but yeah that did in Piccolo right there and before he um before yeah for now but basically what he's talking about is uh, Piccolo Jr. basically what he do before he explodes is he coughs up an egg and sends it flying and um, Piccolo Jr. was um, uh, born before you know he spit out an egg before he got, um, before he died. So Piccolo was born. The Piccolo we know was born. So basically, um, he asks his Kami, who is not seen in this game, to restore the Dragon Balls. And Goku, um, you know, wished everybody back. And yeah, it's saying that it's the story for another time. Which I really think they should have had a continuation with this. But yeah, folks, end of the game right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Boomer and her spacecraft right there. But anyway, yeah, this is the end of the Dragon Ball Events Adventure game. I uh, hope you guys had a good time with this. Um, I sure did. Um, let me go ahead and tell you, this game, I recommend this game, folks. Um, I really do. The sprites are gorgeous. They are beautiful. The, this is the best looking. To me, this is one of the best looking GBA games, folks. It really is. This game is fantastic. A lot of people like this game, and I see why. Even though this is my first few times playing this game, this is my first playthrough, full playthrough of this game. Um, I don't know why I skipped over this gem, this beautiful gem of a game. Um, if you like beat em ups, uh, action platforming games, you're gonna enjoy this. You really do. And me, being a fan of the Dragon Ball Z series and stuff like that, it just makes this game more enjoyable because I know who the characters are. Some of the characters I didn't know because, you know, my experience with the Dragon Ball um, 
is kind of limited, but the music in this game, fantastic. It's really, you can really jam out to um, some of the tracks in the game, because it's kind of recognizable, at least to me, because of all the Dragon Ball Z games I played. But anyway, um, yeah, you, some of the tracks are forgettable if you're not paying attention, but yeah, you're going to enjoy this game if you like uh, beat-em-ups folks and plus with all the extra content you have when you beat the game you unlock extra mode so you can pretty much keep all the health you had you know and play through and unlock those red doors that we've been seeing throughout the game to unlock uh extra content you know you can play with other characters such as uh yamcha tian uh krillin but you 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 can only play with those in extra mode but it's worth it though so it really is so would I recommend this game to anybody? Sure, if you like platforming beat it ups, go ahead. But you know what? I'm, I'm in the mood to show off some extra content, folks. So stay tuned to the extra part of Dragon Ball Advent Adventure. I'm going to be playing with this guy, Krillin, in story mode. So until then, see you soon, and stay tuned, folks. See you later.